you. Oh, hi, Gabby. A bunch of us are going to the park to play soccer. Would you like to join us? Mm, no, thanks, Rudy. The last time I played, I got hurt, and I don't want that to happen again. Well, Gabby, did you pray for protection and ask God to keep you safe? I mean, maybe when you, maybe if you did, you wouldn't get hurt, and that's what we do. That's a good idea, Rudy. I'm going to ask God for protection. Well, are you going to pray? Uh, I thought you were going to pray. Will you please? I don't know how to pray. Uh, okay, sure. Um, God, uh, uh, Father, uh, Gabby, I have a confession to make. I don't know how to pray either. I thought you said that you'd pray for protection before each soccer game. Well, actually, Pastor Stan does. He's our coach. Oh. We need to find a prayer prayer. Hmm. How about Miss Donna? She's a great prayer prayer. That's a good idea. Miss Donna. Miss Donna. Miss Donna. Donna. Hello, Rudy and Gabby. How are the two of you? Oh, hi, Miss Donna. Hi. How are you doing? Is there a problem here? Well, yeah, could you pray for us? We don't know how. You don't know how to pray? No. Mm -hmm. Would you like me to teach you how to pray? Teach us? You yeah, can teach, teach, us? teach us? Yes. Did you know that when Jesus walked on the earth, his followers, his disciples, did not know how to pray, and he taught them? And there's actually a prayer called the Lord's Prayer that he taught them. Would you like to learn that prayer? That sounds great! Wonderful! Well, if you'd like to come to the story table, I can not only teach you, but I can teach the children the Lord's Prayer. Would you like to join me? Yeah! yeah. Sounds good! Good! Kids, how does that sound? Great! We're going to go to the story table and we're going to learn the Lord's Prayer together. Come on, kids! Let's go! So here we go, kids. We're going to be going over the Lord's Prayer. And, you know, it was really wonderful that Gabby and Rudy had asked questions about prayer, that they weren't sure about how to pray. You know, a lot of people have questions about how to pray and when to pray, all of that. Even Jesus' disciples weren't sure how to pray. So, you know, even when we look at the, the Bible and we read a certain section, it tells you in Luke 1 that they were asking how to pray, and Jesus taught them. And then as we go into Matthew chapter 6, verse 9 through 13, Jesus actually teaches us about prayer. And I just want to read it to you. This is how it goes. Then this is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Now children, I want you to understand that sometimes when you learn this prayer, you may learn it with a couple different words are used. I find that sometimes. I learned this when I was a young child and I learned it with using the word trespassers instead of debts. So we're gonna go through it, but we're gonna take it piece by piece so that you understand the reason behind the prayer. So you're not just saying it as words. You know, this, this prayer was given by Jesus to the disciples and for us to use through our Bible because it establishes that relationship. God wanted us to be able to talk to Him and we talk to Him through prayer. And that's why we have our Lord's Prayer. And you don't have to always follow this format, but try when you are praying to keep these things in mind as you do pray and you can use your own format. But we're gonna go over kind of what this means and break it down so you can understand it. And I just hope that it allows you to understand better and to bring you closer into a relationship with God. All right, so we're gonna just pull this apart and we're gonna start off with our Father who art in heaven. And that's just basically telling you we're, we're praying to God in heaven, okay? Our heavenly Father, hallowed be thy name. And he is special. He's holy, he's honorable. So we wanna make sure that when we're praying to him, we're taking this seriously, all right? We go to God in prayer when we need something, we wanna give thanks. Um, we may be going through situations that we just need some help. And he's always there willing to show us his love and to show us guidance and help us through our daily walk, okay? 
So our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And what he wanted is what, when Jesus walked on the earth and he was a great example of what, what God wanted all of us to act like, he was allowing us to, he wanted us in this prayer basically to tell us to act the way, walk the way that we should, talk the way that we should, as we would not only here on earth, but as we would in heaven, to be like Jesus here on earth. So thy kingdom come, thy will be done. And to do what God wants us to do, thy will be done, what he wants us to do on earth as it is in heaven. So just to be, live the way we should be living in heaven on earth, to be an example, to be a little different than maybe people walking around. Give us this day our daily bread. And when he says that in this, this prayer, give us this day our daily bread, it doesn't only mean bread, food. It's basically telling us that give us our daily needs, what we need. God wants to provide us what we need. So give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses or debts, okay, as we forgive those who trespass or have debts against us. And what that's saying is that please forgive us our sins or if somebody does something wrong against us, please forgive what we do, but also to allow us to forgive what others do to us. All right, because we can't expect God to forgive us because he always does if we go to him and ask for forgiveness if we don't forgive others that do things against us. So forgive us our debts as we forgive those who have debts against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And it's basically saying, God, allow me to walk the life that I need to and help me to avoid getting into situations that might cause me to do the wrong thing, that may cause me to sin. We're really asking him for help and guidance so that we can avoid doing the things that the evil Satan may, may cause us to do, all right? So we, we really just want to press into this. And a lot of times at the end of this prayer, you'll hear for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. And that's basically never to forget that we're praying to God and he is our heavenly father and we should give him all the glory for everything that we come to. So, you know, children, I just want you to just work at this. I had to learn this when I was a young child, and I really feel it's something that can help you through life. Sometimes we don't know we're in a situation, we just don't know how to pray, and we can, when we can have something like this, the Lord's Prayer to lean back on and, and focus on, it can help us through those tough times. So I just hope that you can have a better understanding of this, and, um, and I, just, I just feel that we should, as, a, as together, pray this, and we're gonna just go like, like this. This is, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forget of our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And I just hope that you just kind of Take this bit by bit, bit and learn it and really embrace it. I think it could really help you grow closer to the Lord and your relationship with Him. Thank you so much. So Gabby and Rudy, do you think you know how to pray now? Yeah, let's try. Dear Father, thank you for being our Heavenly Father. Thank you for loving us and sending Jesus. And we ask you to protect us as we play soccer and have fun. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That's wonderful. And maybe you can practice that. Every time you're doing something, it's wonderful to pray to God, okay, for protection. Okay, it was easy. That's great. I'm going to go play now. Soccer time. Bye. So, Gabby, do you understand? You're good with the Lord's Prayer now? Yeah, and I actually realized that my abuelita taught me how to say the Lord's Prayer in Spanish. Your abuelita? Who is your abuelita? My abuelita is grandmother in Spanish. That's wonderful. Would you share it with us? Sure. That sounds great, kids. We're going to learn how to say the Lord's Prayer in Spanish. All right, Gabby. Okay. Padre nuestro, que están los cielos, santificado, sea tu nombre, vengas en tu reino, hágase su voluntad, Así la tierra como en el cielo, danos hoy nuestro pan cotidiano y perdónanos nuestras deudas, 
como también nosotros perdonamos a nuestros deudores. Y no nos metas en tentación, mas líbranos de mal, porque tuyo es el reino y el poder y la gloria por todos los siglos. Amen. Oh, that was wonderful, Gabby. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. So now you can practice in Spanish saying the Lord's Prayer as well as English. That's wonderful. And maybe there will be people watching that know how to say in Spanish as well. So that'll be great. Gabby, it was wonderful visiting with you. Keep on praying. And kids, until we see you again, keep on praying. Bye. Bye. Adios.